Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand the concept of service tags on Azure. Now, let's try to understand the concept with the example scenario like the one that you see on the screen. We have a virtual network. Inside of that virtual network, we have two subnets and one of those subnets contain two app servers as you can see. And users from the public internet can access these app servers. Let's imagine a scenario where a malicious user gains access to app server 2. If that happens, it increases the ability that that user has to gain access to other Azure resources. Like the storage accounts that you have on Azure with sensitive data and your Azure Active Directory or even Azure Key Vault. And because of this, there should be a way for you to block access from these virtual machines and from these subnets to other Azure services. And now let's understand how we can solve this without service tags. You can create a network security group and add all the IP addresses of these Azure services. But since Microsoft controls these IP addresses, we'll have to update the network security group every time they update their IP addresses. This is where the service tags come in. Instead of specifying every IP address of this platform as a service service in your network security group, you can add a service tag that represents the service. Now, if you Google for Azure IP ranges, the first result here is that Azure IP ranges and service tags. If I go into that page and download the JSON, as you can see here, this contains the address prefixes for each of these service types. Now, let's say if I want to block access to storage accounts, we can find the IP addresses of Azure storage account servers. And now let's understand this concept with an actual demo on Azure. For that, I have created this script. Let me run it on my Azure PowerShell for creating a resource group and inside of that a virtual machine. All right, we have created a virtual machine. Now, if I go into my Azure portal, as you can see, we have a virtual machine and a virtual network and a network security group and a network interface and all these default resources. Now, I'm going to RDP into this web server virtual machine. Let me do that now. As you can see, I have RDP'd into the virtual machine that we have just created. Now, let me install Azure Storage Explorer. As you can see, I have installed Azure Storage Explorer now. Now I have this sample storage account on Azure. Let me copy the access keys. I'm going to copy the connection string and then I'm going to storage account and then I'm going to click next and then I'm going to paste this connection string. As you can see, I can access the data that reside in the storage account. We can see the files that I have in these containers as well. Now let me refresh it. All right. Now what I want to show you is how to block access to this storage account from this virtual machine. For that, I'm going into resource groups and to the resource group that we have just created. And here, as you can see, we already have a network security group that has been attached to the network interface of this virtual machine. I'm not going to do a change to this network security group. I'm going to create a new network security group and associate that with the subnet. Let me create the network security group. We can associate a network security group with a subnet or a network interface. I'm going to go with this resource group. Now let me provide a name here. I'm going to call it block storage and the region. I'm going to select Southeast Asia and then I'm going to create it. All right. Now I'm going into the resource. And if I go into outbound security rules here, I can add a new security rule. The source IP addresses, I'm going to select any and source port ranges. It could be any virtual machine inside of my virtual network. Actually, it's the subnet because I'm going to associate this network security group with a subnet. In the destination section, we have any IP addresses, service tags and application security groups. I'm going to select service tags. As you can see here, we have many service tags. Now let me search for Azure service tags. If you go into this page here, we have all the service tags that we can find in that list. And this document contains the purpose of that service tag 
and also whether you can or cannot include this service tag in an inbound or outbound section of your network security group or whether this is a regional thing or not or whether you can use this or whether you can use this service tag with Azure Firewall you can find all this information here since we are trying to block storage access I'm going to go with storage let me search for storage as you can see we have it here and in the description we can find that this tag represents the entire service but not a specific instance of that service for example it is not blocking a specific instance a specific storage account this is blocking entire service type any storage account and as you can see this is assignable to outbound section of your network security group and this is a regional service and also you can use this with azure firewall as well now let me go back and search for storage and as you can see here we have storage and also we have storage dot the region you can block specific regions as well i'm going to go with storage and then i'm going to change the destination port ranges to any and then i'm going to deny access priority i'm going to keep this as it is and i'm going to name this deny storage access now i'm going to create this outbound security rule for this network security group the outbound security rule is in place now now i'm going into the resource group as you can see we have two network security groups the next thing that we should do is we should associate this network security group that we have just created with the subnet of this virtual network for that i'm going into the virtual network and to the subnets section and then i'm going to click on this subnet and this is the only subnet we have and here we can associate the network security group with this subnet i'm going to select block storage here and that is the network security group that we have created i'm going to save it now now let me go back to the virtual machine refresh this as you can see it is refreshing because it takes around a minute or two for applying this configuration let's wait for a minute or two and try again as you can see we cannot access this storage account if i refresh this here i cannot receive anything now if i go back let me remove the network security group as well in a couple of seconds as you can see we can weave the data of that storage account i hope you have a good understanding on what azure service tags are if you have any further questions or comments let me know down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today and thanks for watching